So how to make a obscene profits with joint ventures without customers or experience? So today we are going to talk about joint ventures. How many of you are here because you will learn how to do joint ventures? Okay, if you're not, your hand is not out, you're in the wrong room. Okay, so joint ventures. So first of all, let's define what exactly is joint venture. Some people might say that is one of the world's most powerful business strategy. I don't know if it's the world's most powerful strategy, but it is a very powerful strategy. So what exactly is joint venture? Let me share something with you. So in boxing, you know, in boxing, how many of you watch boxing? Okay, cool. So in boxing, you know how they have four major punches, right? They have what? The jab, the jab right, the jab. And then they have? Right. Yeah, the cross, right? And then you have the hook, and then you have the uppercut, right? So jab, cross, right hook, uppercut. So to me, joint venture is my jab. It's the one that I use the most often in business. As an offense, to grow my company, expand my customer base, or also as a defense, meaning if someone attacks, it's a counter punch, meaning to reduce my risk, reduce my expense, minimize my, my exposure to risk. Okay, and I'll explain why in, in just a minute. My mic? My back is what? My wife, by the way, one of applause. Thank you, thank you. She's the one that makes me look good, awesome. Okay. I, I'm known for saying, uh, I was saying that if you don't know how to make money without money, you probably can't make money with money. I'll say it again. If you don't know how to make money without money, you probably can't make money with money. What I'm referring to in this case is one of my most common business weapons is joint ventures. And done properly, you could launch a business, you could expand your business, without capital, without expense, without a lot of risk. Okay, it's a way to, to it's an outside the box strategy that very few business owners actually use or, uh, or understand. Okay, if you don't want to make money without money, you probably can't make money with money. And the truth is, when you get to a certain point as an entrepreneur, when you want to raise capital, when you want to expand, you're not using your own money anyway. Like I rarely nowadays use my own money. Don't need to. When I had no money, everything I do, you gotta risk everything you've got on the line. But once you have a kind of a proven track record, people want to kind of throw money at you, whatever deals that you do. So rarely you know, use your own money. Does that make sense? Yes? yes? yes. Okay. And another quote I wanna share with you is this. It's when you live your life as if you're rich, you wanna run your business as if you're poor. Live your life as you're rich, and you want to run your business as you're, as you're poor. Now, what do I mean by that? It means this, that you want to live your life as you're rich, meaning you want to have that abundance mentality. What kind of mentality? Abundance, abundance mentality. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't step over dollars to pick up dimes. Don't be fucking cheap, yeah. okay? And also to, to give, to share, to add value, to be grateful. Have that attitude of gratitude. So live your life as if you're rich, but you want to run your business as if you're poor, meaning yes, you, sometimes you could write a check and get stuff done, but a smarter entrepreneur is, how can I get this done without writing that check? Now that's not being cheap, that's being creative, and there's a big difference, big difference, okay? So how could you get it done without writing the big check? How could you do it in a way that you are smart? You're managing your profit, you're managing your money. Because sometimes in, when you're growing a company, you would, your revenue is going up, and you thought, man, I'm doing well. But in some cases, your revenue is going up, but what's happening with your profit? What's happening with the profit? Yeah, yeah. so as your revenue goes up, you're actually making less and less money. Because now you're, you're, more, you're, you're more careless. Hey, you know what? We've got customers. Money is coming in. Uh, no worry. You know, let's let's get that fancy computer. Let's get that fancy desk. Let's rent a bigger space. And that's how sometimes business they have the expansion dilemma as they grow and suddenly they're out of business. You see a lot of this in Profit 500 companies, Inc. 500. One year hit Inc. 500. Second year, third year, they're gone. Because Inc. 500 they measure what? Revenue. 
nobody talks about profit. They're growing by X amount, amount of percentage a year, every year. That means they're doing well. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. So you got to look at it from that kind of view. So run your business as if you're poor. Run your business if you're poor. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.